Jinja is already home to the country's first automobile manufacturing plant, Kira Motors, that is implementing electric automobile manufacture. With a charge towards decarbonization and the transport sector a major contributor, adoption of eco-friendly transportation solutions is currently at the forefront. Ultimately, Jinja is steadily turning into a technology city as the first phase of the ambitious plan, initiated in 2020, begins to take shape. Mass transport benchmarked on electric buses has been hailed as a significant step following launch of the electric transport project by Rebecca Kadaga and the Minister of Science and Technology. Jinja City Mayor Peter Okochaka Solo indicates that space for manufacture will be secured for a development that is bound to inspire industrial growth and job creation. Was the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, they are thinking of different cities where they would implement different projects in line with ICT and immobility. So we use this chance and wait to Kampala for more knowledge. Space. So these are people who are into electric vehicles. And we have over 80 players that we have brought together. And we are thinking to see how we create a tanky solution that is unique to our needs addresses our problems and is for our people. So solutions for Africa by Africa. Local automobile manufacture is part of the import substitution strategy, industrial growth and a major consideration for investment. The Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation has emphasized government's commitment to foster innovation and sustainable solutions to fix the country's disjointed transport sector. Putting those together to solve or to, 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 to come up with uh, a solution for transport. So when you apply the science and the tools to solve a problem or to do it better, then that is innovation. However, all those work and are only sustainable if you can put them together into a business or an industry which can be sold. And that's the process which makes things such as so that's what we call commercialization. Following URIA's move to cast out undesired motor vehicle imports, the private sector has had to sustain high landed costs on accepted models. For electric mobility, a comparative advantage on limited maintenance cost of units is probable despite costly initial expenses and infrastructure challenges. Without value addition are cheap because that's why, for example, we produce coffee. Coffee is a highly valuable commodity, but because we export it in raw material, almost as a natural resource, we get very little from it. So, we, but we have a lot of natural resources, and the, in the short time that we are discussing, we said, you know, Jinja is unique. We, you are the only city with very wide streets. Now, that is a tradable natural resource, which when we add value, it can result in a unique economic growth for the city. In June, the market share for cars running on electric batteries rose to 15.1%, according to the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, with more than 158,000 units sold in the European Union. Despite collateral benefits, the development is still affected by high capital expenditure and infrastructure challenges. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24 TV, Business Today.